And that's pretty sad, isn't it? Anyways, two months later, new emails. Oh, that's interesting. LGBTQ funerals. If you've been a long time subscriber to our emails or follow us on social media, you've no doubt heard about the misgendering that transgender people are at times subjected to during their funerals. There have been notable situations where trans women have had their wishes overruled by their families and have had their hair cut and are buried under their own names and subjected to their own pronouns. We care a lot about this because we believe in treating every person with the same level of compassion, respect and care. And this absolutely extends to pronouns and respecting the deceased wishes as per the lived experience. Hell yeah. The CDC's Funeral Director's Handbook on Death Registration and Fatal Death Reporting offers the fraud directive. And the male or female based on observation do not abbreviate or use other symbols. If sex cannot be determined after verification with medical records, inspection of the body or resources enter unknown. Do not leave this item blank. Leaving it up to observation, obviously, unless in the world of issues, since body can be so different, and because of ingrained bias, people can draw incorrect assumptions based on their own inaccurate observations. California has passed what is known as a Respect After Death Act, which states that the death certificate must reflect the deceased gender identity as they lived it. Yeah, dope. People who are trans deserve the same respect in death that people who are cisgender receive. Misgendering in death takes away this respect, can also inflict heart and trauma. Yeah. Listen to the people who come to your office. In America, especially some marriages may not be recognized as legal, depending on the laws around safe sex marriage. It's recognized everywhere in America, isn't it? Anyways. Listen, learn, always be respectful. Of course. It's a coming late, sorry, from Amy to Matthew. Hey Matthew, this is embarrassing, but it seems I miscal miscalculated some of our income and I don't have enough to pay you this week. Would it be terribly inconvenient if I cut you a check for next week instead? If you need the money urgently, please let me know. I feel terrible about this whole thing and I can cut you a check from my personal account if I need to be. I'm so sorry about this. I assure you it won't happen again. I don't like the look of this, not one bit. I know you've only been with us for a few months, but maybe you're aware of the trouble Amy has been having. A small moment pops up like Rose and Daughters can compete with the bigger guys. Anyway, don't tell Amy I send this to you. Also, I'm starving, so I'm going to grab some fast food before taking the hearse through the car wash. Two bars, one stone. And swinging back to the home, do you want anything? A different cheddar? I'm going to take the hearse through the drive-thru, of course. It freaks people out. I love it. They get so awkward. <laughs> I like this guy. Okay, that's one email, so let's edit it as we do. Charlie, I was doing some reading. I know, you hate when I try to give you dating advice. But hear me out! There's this dating site that's specifically for people working in the death industry. Okay, so maybe I'm a little worried for you, but you haven't mentioned anybody new since the breakup of 2014 that we will never speak of again after this moment. But you're always saying how tired you get of people being scared to ask about your day, so maybe meeting somebody in the industry isn't the worst idea? Just promise me you consider it, okay? It's harder for me to make sure you sing sunlight when I'm all the way across the ocean. I know you look like a babe with pale skin and witchy gothy aesthetics are super hot right now, but vitamin D is still a good thing. Mom rant over. I'm going to try it out because turns out people get super scared off when you tell them you work in a museum filled with dead bodies. Do you know how not interesting other people find teratomas? Teratomas are really creepy. Like, it's a ball of things in your body that should not be there. And it's full of wrong stuff. Just if you really, really, really got to find out, Google it. I would recommend against it. Charlie, I didn't know we were this weird to each other people. I've been spoiled by having a best friend who is as much of a weirdo as I am. Miss you. 
let's grab a bottle of wine for our next Skype date. If you sign up for Dead Meat, <laughs> that's a really cool pun. Is not the best name for a death industry dating website. Tinder rules apply. You have to like me if you come across my profile or whatever. I'm not sure how it works just yet though. Hi Amy, thank you for this wonderful evening when your staff put together for my father's funeral. He wasn't always an easy man to get along with, but I'm glad we have seen him off in such a kind way. Thank you. Hey Charlie, today's funeral is for a woman who died from breast cancer. Nothing fancy, standard cremation. This is the same stuff. Okay. Okay, I'm on it. Cremation, huh? Well, that's sad. Before we cremate Miss Hall, we need to prepare her body. Mrs. Hall brought clothing and jewelry for her to wear. It's important to remove this before the cremation process as to not damage them. Let's start by removing Mrs. Hall's necklace. Click on the necklace and place it on the purple tray. Replace it in the remains. Right. We need to be able to identify Mrs. Hall's remains after she's been cremated. Click on the round identification tag and place it in the coffin. This is all set. Do I press the thing? Yes. So like, what happens now? Oh, we have the urn. This is the Cremulator! Contrary to popular belief, cremation doesn't turn bodies into us, so much as bone fragments. Using the Cremulator will break these bone fragments down into us like remains. Let's have a place in the urn in the That's so cool! Click on the urn and place it on the Cremulator. Click and drag the fragments! All the bones have been processed. Click on the urn and place it back in the counter. Put the, ne put the necklace in the urn. Put the tag. Put the lead. And let's go to the funeral! What's up? This is nice, in a weird way. She'd like that we're all here talking. She always tried to keep the family together. The food is delicious. I know that's weird, but these crab cakes are perfect. Glad she was cremated and not like in an open casket or something. Seeing her like that, I don't know if I could have. At least we all got to say goodbye. She would have liked that. She fought really hard. She was proud of herself. She never gave up. Not once. She would have hated this music. She never wanted her funeral to be sad. She would have wanted us smiling. She said so. February 14, two more months later. It's Valentine's Day. This is going to be a gig. News about the future of Rose and daughter's funeral home. Hi all. It is with a very heavy heart that I write to let you know that Rose and daughters will no longer be in business. I had no idea how to start this email. And researches I googled told me that would be the best and easiest way to break the ice. Be direct but remorseful, Google said. The truth is, I don't really know what to say. Since my, since my father passed away, I've done my best to make girls and daughters warm and friendly to anyone who chose to use our services. 
It was my memorial to him, the original Rose, in a lot of ways. And you've all become f- like family, including you, Charlie, our most recent addition. But it's beginning harder to make ends meet. Red is going up, and I'm finding less and less like I have the energy for this business. There's a lot of competition from other funeral homes, larger corporations that we are than we are that can take on more business and offer more best services. You know the way it goes. So we've been bought, or I sold. Either way, soon Hillside Heritage Enterprises Incorporated, a company that owns many funeral homes in the city and across the country, will replace Rose and Daughters, starting from the beginning of next month. Same building, same name. They're keeping the name Rose and Daughters Funeral Home for tax purposes. So honestly, I'm trying hard not to just see it as a move on their part to keep up the image that it's a family-run business. I don't know how I feel about that, but I also don't know if there's anything I can do at this point either. I'm signing the papers. At least my father's legacy is still intact somewhat. They have a good reputation and have agreed to keep you all on. That was one of my stipulations. I would sell as long as you all were without a job. That's sad. Okay. This is Green Burials. Natural cemeteries are becoming more popular and are focused on a few rules. Mainly it's that bodies aren't allowed to be embalmed with chemicals. Bodies must be buried in a biodegradable slaughter casket. Not only is this better for the environment, it's also cheaper. At Union Cemetery in Ontario, a natural burial is just over a thousand dollars. Burials are expensive. So better for the people, the environment, that's maybe not so good for big business. Let's not forget people, this is still a business after all. But really, why go green? Green burials help preserve natural resources, work to reduce carbon emissions, protect the health of those, preparing bodies and restore preserved natural habitats. Yeah, okay. Funeral directors report a higher incidence of leukemia. Makes sense. From Zen. Charlie. I've been playing a new game when things are s- slow at work. It's called Tales from the Cry- Crypt Sweeper. Get it? Get it? No, I actually don't. It's like Minesweeper, but way harder. Like, seriously, it's really, really difficult. And I thought my Minesweeper game was on point after working that overnight front desk job at that hotel for three years. But I must have gotten rusty. Anyways, instead of mines, you wanna avoid graves, so you don't disturb the adorable ghosts. The main character also kinda looks like you. Wanna start a healthy competition? High score gets to pick the restaurant we go to when one of us is down next. I don't know what to do. To do. From Ryan Garcia to Amy Rose. Hi Amy. I know this email might be a bit thought, but you said if I was ever having troubles, I should reach out and you would know somebody I could talk to about all of this. I just, I don't know what to do now. I know my grandmother had lived a full good life and was very happy and that she's not in any pain now, but I still, I feel empty, Amy. I've never felt this empty before. What am I supposed to do now? I thought I was stronger than this. Can you refer me to someone to talk to? I don't want to freak out my mom right now, she's dealing with enough, with work and the wheel and trying to just be the best mom she can. I just need somebody to tell me that it will be okay. I thought I would forward this to you. In situations like this, we typically connect people like Ryan with a grief counselor or other professionals who can really help them. Sometimes we get emails like this when people don't know where else to turn. It's difficult, and family isn't always the most reliable for some people. Usually I would be happy to connect him, but I'm feeling a little tired today, not my usual self. And it would be good for you to start building this kind of relationships on your own. Mm-hmm. That's a thank you. Hi Amy, you should ask if there were any special instructions when to pass along. Just please cremate my father, he has a, p- a pacemaker too. Doctor told me that that would be need to be removed. Please see the note below about, about the pacemaker, they can be tricky. Okay. That's a different website. Oh! oh, oh. It's a game, it's a game, let's go! 
What does that mean? It means that there is one around. That means that there's more than one. Oh, that's a four. That's a three. Look, it's basically mine, but okay. I don't really want to get too much into that. So this is cremation again, only this time we have to do some stuff. Mr. Reyes came directly from the hospital. We don't have to worry about removing any valuables, as the family did not provide for any for us to include. Mr. Reyes is a pacemaker. Pacemakers are batteries, they will explode. And we definitely don't want that. Clicking the rack the scalpel over the heart. That's not really where the heart is, that's a bit lower. You can see the pacemaker. Click on the forceps to click and drag the pacemaker out of the heart. Isn't that disgusting? Place the tag, great. Hopefully we've done this the right way. And done! Let's go to the funeral. Hmm. Bounce of people. Do you ever end up clearing the air with your father? No. We talked a few times, but no, not really. He sounded like a difficult man. He was stubborn, that's just it, stubborn. What do you want to do after this? It's pretty nice out. Let's change the go find the pastry somewhere? Sounds good. Could really use a beer right now. Hey, did I ever tell you the time we tailgated? That's the wife. I wonder if he ever likes me. He was nice to me, but I don't know. He never seemed like he really cared if I was there or not. I always told him to quit smoking, but of course. He never listened to me, so that figures. So yeah, he was an old school man, I guess. Not in the good way, of course. 